What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you how to create a very, very cool sliding mask effect. So if I push play, this is my take on it. As you can see, super clean. And if you actually pay attention, if you go frame by frame, this is actually going beneath the, or behind our subject here. And then if we go to this one now, it's going in front of him. All right guys, so if you haven't yet visited my store, I highly suggest you guys do. The latest one is this one here. Link is gonna be in the description. Let's get back to the tutorial. Right as he puts his hand down, which is about, I don't know, about here, I'm going to split the clip by pressing Command B on the keyboard and then skim through the video to another area about here. So this is about, let's see, we're gonna count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 17 frames. So about less than half a second or so. Hold option and drag upwards. And then from there, you're gonna go over to the effects, draw mask and add that onto the top clip. Then we're gonna go to the beginning move the playhead there and go to the inspector tab. Go over to the video tab and then select the draw mask. And then what you wanna do is pretty much make a few selections around him. Now keep in mind, the better the selection is, the cleaner the, the effect will look. So if you have like, say only like five points, it's, gonna not, it's not gonna be that good of an effect. So ideally you want to have at least 10 points. Start here and then click once to make our selection. Click and drag to make a curve. And I'm gonna do something like this. Uh, it doesn't have to be like super perfect because it's gonna go by quick and we're gonna add a blur anyways and maybe like that and then click once again at the beginning to finish off the path. I always like to click and drag this and move this down so you can't see it. Reason being is if you leave it like that, there's gonna be a gap underneath. So drag this below. And then once you're happy with the selection, we're gonna go over to the draw mask and then we're gonna go over to control points, add a keyframe. And then next to transform, you're gonna add a keyframe next to position. This is very important. That will save you so much time later. Rotation as well, and maybe even scale just in case. So once you have all those keyframes set on your keyboard, you're gonna go left and right by pressing the left and right arrow keys. So we're gonna start at the beginning. We're gonna press right on the arrow key. And you're gonna notice that the video moves out of the mask because the mask is not actually being animated. So all you're gonna do is press right on the arrow key click anywhere inside of this mask that you just drew and drag it over. So you would click and drag this, position this over the subject. And if you have to move some of these points, click and then drag to move them. So now if you go back, you should see it change. If it's not changing, you haven't added a keyframe next to control points. So uh, from there, press right on the arrow key again and click and drag and just move this right over here. Again, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. As long as you get it close enough, that'll be fine because we're gonna create a feather anyways. Cool. So very, very, very rough selection as you can see, but you guys can get an idea of what the main effect is going to look like. If you disable the bottom clip by pressing V, you can see what it looks like and it should only be on your main subject for the most part. And if you think there's too much of a gap, go in and click on the top clip and then just readjust the mask so that it looks a little bit better. Anyways, once you're done with that, what we're going to do is select the top clip. I'm gonna rename this so you guys don't get confused. I'm gonna name this uh, main subject. This will be our raw video. Okay, so now with the main subject selected, we're gonna make another copy. So hold option and drag upwards. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the bottom clip and we're going to change the name of this again so i'm going to rename this and name this uh, background uh, mask so you guys get an idea now we're going to move the playhead at the beginning we're going to click off of the mask and we're going to create a feather so go over to the feather and either increase it outwards or decrease it i'm going to i'm going to bring it inwards a little bit not too much maybe negative 14 re enable those clips and the reason we do that is so it's not so harsh of an edge we're going to select the background mask, go over to the effects. And then in the effects, you're gonna to go to the blur, and then you're gonna to go to directional blur and add that onto the background mask clip. We're gonna go over to the directional effect, and then you're gonna actually drag this out. You're gonna drag it out like this. The further you drag it out, the more blurry it will be. So I'm just gonna increase the amount 
And this angle depends on which way you want this to animate. So I want it to come in from the bottom left to the top right. So this angle should be something like this. So the arrow is going to be pointing to where you want that to end. So here is fine. And I think 500 is too much. I'm going to do 300 so we can kind of tell what the actual clip is. From there, I think that looks fine. Angle is fine. And then now we're going to go over to the transform. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning. And then you're going to drag this clip. You're going to notice, though, that there's going to be a harsh edge here. But we'll do that at the end. So just click and drag this to the bottom left. And then add a keyframe. And you're going to go to the very end. Go one frame to the left. And then you should click and drag this to the other side. And you should see a red line, meaning that that's the animation. You can see kind of how it looks like. And it's starting to go behind our subject. As you can see, there's a very harsh edge, but we can easily fix that. So from there, click off of it and click done. It's going to go by quick. You won't really be able to tell. And it looks like that. If you think this is too slow of an animation, right click on the background mask. Go to show video animation and then select the last keyframe and bring it closer to the beginning. So now it should go in quicker. I think that's good there. What you're going to do is right where it leaves the screen, we're going to make a split clip here. So press command B. You're going to then drag this clip right above. And then I'm going to rename this clip to foreground uh, mask. Is that how you spell it? I'm not even too sure. I'm just going to leave it like that. So. From there, what we're going to do is go back to transform. Because we left it on that last frame, all you got to do now is just go to the end and go one frame to the left, and then just drag it back to the beginning point. So you're just going to click and drag. You're going to see an arrow go facing this way, and then you're just going to drag it like that. Ideally, you want this red line to be right above the first one, so like that, and then click Done. So now, if I go back and push Play, it'll look just like this. Now, it will go by pretty quick because we don't have that many keyframes. If you don't want to split the clip, what you can do is just make another copy. So I'm going to extend this out and show you guys. So if I push play, it leaves the screen, right? So if I show video animation, it's going to be right here, the keyframe. Just hold option and drag upwards again, and then change the name of this so you don't get confused. I'm going to actually adjust the first background mask. So I'm going to make this go about halfway. Because it's a, the same clip, I'm actually going to reset this. So hit reset. Click done. Now we're working with the foreground mask. So from here, once it leaves the screen, we're gonna go to transform, add a keyframe, and then we're gonna start this over here, and then go to the end, go one frame to the left, and then just drag this back to the uh, beginning like that, and click done. So now if I push play, it'll keep the same speed as you can see. Very, very cool stuff. And you're gonna notice that right here, the viewer's not really gonna be able to tell in the, until they pause the video, but if you want to get rid of that, just go over to the effects, go down to masks and go to gradient mask or graduated mask, and then add that to the foreground mask. And then just move this piece so that it hides kind of the uh, bottom edge. And then just do the same thing for the background mask. So hover over where you can see it. There it is. So go to graduated mask, drag that on there. I might have to zoom out 50%. Here it is. So you have to kind of look for it a little bit, but it'll be there and just drag it down. Perfect. So now you should not be able to see the bottom edge. So if I push play, you have this super smooth effect. And wow, that looks so clean. That'll be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please comment down below and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.